Congratulations to Lomachenko for winning a very close fight that could have went either way against Ortiz. As expected, one of the judges had the fight scored 117 to 111. Like, I don't even know what fight they were watching. The undercard? Because definitely not Lomachenko main event. Since Ortiz outpunched and outlanded Lomachenko. That's exactly right. This was Teofimo Lopez versus Lomachenko all over again. Ortiz put a whooping on Lomachenko early. Then Loma came on in the later rounds and barely pulled off the fight. If it wasn't for old media favoring Lomachenko, Ortiz would have had won tonight. Nevertheless, from the first round, Ortiz came out with Teofimo Lopez game plan, pumping the jab, throwing the right hands and combinations, where Ortiz hit Loma with everything in the kitchen sink. Surprisingly enough, it was Lomachenko that was clenching and holding. Now, as the fight went on, Ortiz dominated Lomachenko for the first five rounds. Then during the second half, Loma came on and the fight was more competitive. Ortiz exposed so much of Lomachenko's game. If Loma is not in position, he doesn't like to throw punches and he's very vulnerable to getting hit. And the only time Lomachenko is in position is whenever he takes his pivot with his lead foot to the outside. So if you take that away from him and circle with him, he becomes an ordinary basic fighter, a straight up up and down fighter with nothing special. To make matters worse, Ortiz showed Lomachenko's kryptonite. And that's a southpaw stand. Whenever Ortiz went to the southpaw stand, he was whipping on Loma and completely nullified all of the angles Lomachenko likes to take. In fact, in the later rounds, Ortiz actually managed to hurt Loma from that southpaw stand where Loma started backing up right away. As soon as he got hit to the body with combos, matter of fact, Ortiz managed to hurt Lomachenko multiple times tonight. And would you guys believe, not once, ESPN showed Ortiz highlights between rounds. Even when Ortiz was whipping on Loma. However, as soon as Lomachenko landed a punch, all of a sudden, in between rounds, they showing Lomachenko highlights. Even during the rounds, Lomachenko didn't have any highlights. They will show highlights from the rounds before that. They did the exact same thing in the Teofimo Lopez fight. Nevertheless, congratulations to Loma. Hopefully Lomachenko will be a man of his word by fighting Devin Haney next for his dream to become undisputed. Instead of ducking Devin Haney again by turning down the fight with Devin Haney for the fourth time. Because tonight, when Devin Haney called him out, Lomachenko looked shook like he saw a ghost. And we all know, at the moment in time, Paulie sounds as dumb as he looks as Devin Haney made him eat his words tonight. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.